Hi guys, if you're looking for a short how-to video on photography and business, then stay tuned for this short tutorial on how to fix skin and eyes in Photoshop. Hi there, I'm Amy Lee from amylee.com.au and in this edition of Amy Lee Online, I'm going to show you how to edit skin and eyes quickly and easily in Photoshop for a really professional look. Hi guys, today we're going to work on brightening the eyes and making sure that we have the highlights in the right places. So we're going to work on this image again of Christina and we're going to work on popping the eyes and making them beautiful in Photoshop, okay, and how I would do it. Okay, so first we want to make a layer, Command J or go up to layer and duplicate layer. We can call this eyes or you can drag the background down to the little lipped paper here down the corner and you can make another background copy. Okay, so we're just going to work on eyes. Okay, so what I'm going to do is you can go over to the left hand side where you've got a little triangle, square, the triangle is a sharpen tool. The little icon over here is called your um, burn tool. So we're going to right click on that and I want you to go to dodge. Dodge means to lighten, burn means to darken. Okay, so I want to go to around 23% exposure, range on the mid-tones. I want to use a soft brush, okay, and I'm going to use this brush at around 66 pixels, okay maybe a bit smaller. So the way that I'm enlarging my brush without touching the mouse is using my brackets. So what I'm going to do here is I just want to go around the eyes here where the light is naturally hitting them. Okay. And again over here and catch those lights under there. It, just where she is naturally the light's naturally hitting them. Now also I want to make my brush a little bit smaller and I want to go around the whites of the eye. Okay, but I'm not going to go around the whites of the eye too far into the eye. The eye must stay looking like a ball. Okay, and a ball has shadows on each edge. So you want to keep inside this area and the outside area darker. Okay, because you want the eye to look like a round three-dimensional shape. If it's all white, it's going to flatten out. Then I'm going to go over here to my burn tool and change it to burn. I'm going to drop down my brush really small. I'm going to enlarge this picture a little bit more. I'm going to drop down and I'm just going to go around the edges here of the iris a little bit. I've got the exposure on 12% on mid-tones. And I'm just going to burn just a little bit around here, darken the pupil slightly. And I just want to darken around the edges of her eye. Not on the outside, obviously, only where there's darker bits, okay? Obviously, you wouldn't draw in where it's not already dark, okay? I'm going to go over the eyes here as well and darken these lashes and I'm just going to go into the wet line here and darken in here as well. You can take your exposure up a little bit if you like, be very careful. All I'm doing is just cleaning up the makeup a little bit because you know when you're on set the makeup can get worn away a little bit and you want to make sure that it looks perfect at all times. I'm just going to go in this wet line here a little bit just to define the eye slightly, not too much, but just going over where the makeup already has been, okay, just to give her a little bit more of a smokier eye. Okay, now I'm going back. Now I can show you the difference here. Let's go back to this image. That was before and after. You can see the eye just looks naturally bright 
it doesn't look too bright. Now if for any reason that you are unsure and you'd like to maybe lower that brightness a little bit, you can always go to the opacity of this layer and you can drop it down a little bit and take the brightness down a little bit more and make it even more natural for you, okay? I'm going to also get back onto my dodge tool and I'm just going to where the natural light has hit her lips, so I'm just going to brighten that even just a little bit more and just give her a little bit more uh, more highlights. I'm going to drop the exposure right back to, ten, to 9 or 10 and I'm just going to go over a few little highlights here and just give this uh, beautiful girl a little bit more highlights where the light's naturally hitting her her face and this is all before I take it into any skin smoothing program so the only things that I've done is I've whitened a few things I've given her teeth a little bit of a clean up a little bit more white in the teeth not too much keep the exposure down always on mid-tones I've brightened the eyes and I've given her a few highlights on the face okay so let's see the difference that's before and after and that's it. Okay, now that we've done our brightening of the eyes and cleaning up of the skin, we've done our healing brush tool, we've cleaned up the hair off the face, we've cleaned up any blemishes under the eyes or any blemishes on the face, we've brightened her eyes and given her a few little highlights on the face. So I'm going to merge my layers and I want to create another layer. Okay, we can do that as I said by going up the top to layer, duplicate layer, we can drag our layer down here and make another background copy or we can just right click and make a duplicate layer here as well and call this skin smoothing okay so why I make a layer is because I don't want to damage anything of the of the original image, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to my filter on the Photoshop toolbar at the top and I like to use ImageNomic. If you haven't invested in ImageNomic portraiture, I highly recommend doing that. This is how I do it. It's very simple and easy and for productive workflow, we want easy, okay? You, there is a long way around doing this. Um, and I will go into and do a tutorial just on that if you don't have portraiture but for this purpose we are going to do portraiture and cleaning up the skin I just use default I don't use any other uh, action in portraiture except just default okay and then I just click OK I don't need to wait for it to show me the preview I know exactly what it's going to look like Okay, as you can see, if I turn off this layer, you can see a big difference in the skin. So all I'm going to do here is I want to get my eraser tool over here in the left hand side, click the eraser tool. I'm going to lower my brush and make sure it's a nice soft brush. I'm going to take, leave my opacity 100%. So I'm going to take my flow down up from 100% down to 50% flow and leave the opacity at 100. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to erase back off the hair Okay, because we want the hair to look natural. We don't want it to look too soft. Then I'm going to make my brush smaller again. And I'm going to erase it off the eyes because I want the detail of her eyes. And I'm going to erase it off the lips. I want the detail of that lipstick and her teeth. And if there's any other detail that you want to sharpen, then I would suggest erasing it off that too. And as you can see by doing that, all I've done is just made the skin perfectly smooth. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lower the opacity a little bit because I want to see some of those freckles coming through because I just think they're beautiful. And I want to make sure that she feels like she looks natural. Okay, so I dropped it down to about 91%. Then I'm just going to merge my layer by Command E. Or, as I said, you can click, right click and merge down or you can go up to your layer tool and go up merge visual merge down 
Okay, so this image is almost finished. There's not a lot more that I would do to this image, but you can always go ahead and, you know, change colors. You can take it into Lightroom and use some Lightroom presets on it. You could change it to black and white. You could put a filter over it. But I love the way that this image is shot naturally and there's not a lot more that I would do to this image. And so there you have it. So if you would like, you can attend one of my workshops that I hold annually. I have one happening in May 2014. It's a very small group of photographers that I get together. We stay in a beautiful mansion for the weekend in the lap of luxury while learning all of the things that you need to know to get your business started correctly in the right way. And we do some beautiful shoots as well. So all of the pricing and the details of that workshop can be found on amylee.com.au. Click on the photographer for photographers link and I hope to see you there. Now if you have any queries or questions and you'd like me to answer them on Amy Lee Online, feel free to pop a comment down below and I'll do the best I can to help you and answer those questions for you online. As always, subscribe to the channel. So like, share and favourite and leave a comment even if you don't have a question. I'm Amy Lee and I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And until next time, remember, a vision without action is just a dream. And no. <laughs> Income for your lifestyle. Mm, perfect.